Hey guys, Ashley here. Now listen, I know that you've already seen the video of the She Shed and that it's here, it's been delivered, it's set, it's ready to go. But I wanted to back up and show you guys the process that it took to get it here. This is all the groundwork that we had to do in the prep for the shed to be delivered. Um, we rented a skid steer and we used that skid steer to level the ground out because we do not live on flat property. Um, this all had to be leveled out. This is just a fun little video of my son. My dad was teaching him how to use the skid steer. Let me tell you something. That kid can catch on to using heavy equipment fairly quickly. And as you guys will see here in just a little bit, your girl is not a, not a quick learner when it comes to using heavy equipment. So we rented a skid steer. We got the ground all leveled. And then here in a second, you guys will see that we had to put two different types of gravel down. We also had to do a French drain. I'll show you guys all that here in just a minute, but we got the ground leveled and then we had to get two different types of gravel. The first type of gravel that I had delivered is what's called a number two. It's a big chunky gravel, like big old dinosaur egg size rocks, probably bigger than that. I don't know. I don't know how big a dinosaur egg was. So um, this is just a little video of a thing that we found whenever we were moving the ground. I'm assuming the people here that lived here before us, they had an animal tied up out there. I'm not really sure. Um, here's the, the bigger gravel that we had. This is the number two. This gravel went underneath of the shed, only under where the shed was going to be. This was kind of to help. The ground was super soft. I think this video was like mid-February into February, um, which in Ohio we still have snow. We have snow March, sometimes April, sometimes friggin' July. Who knows? Ohio has that weather that's just crazy. Um, so the ground was super, super soft. Like you walk on it, it's boggy and mushy so I put the bigger gravel down first and that's kind of what will sink in we let that set I don't know maybe a week and then the shed come so we ran over it with the skid steer you'll also see us using a tractor here shortly so we went over it multiple times and kind of got it all set in where it needed to be and this is where we're putting in the French drain so we have this little tractor that has I don't know a bucket on it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the names of all this stuff. I just know that it works and that's what we used. Um, the French drain is there to help obviously drain water. So the she shed don't sink. We don't need a sinking she shed. <laughs> that would be terrible. But also not just that. So we don't have like a mud pit all the way around the shed and just tracking mud and everything. You don't want to do that. So we put in a French drain. There's actually already one that'll that's been laid years ago in front of where the shed is it's the one that comes off of our house so we didn't need to lay one in front of the shed that was already done we put two rows of drainage behind where the shed's going to go so we'll see if that's enough it should be I don't see why I wouldn't but the drainage stuff that we used um, it's called corrugated pipe so it has these little slits in it every so often it's not like plumb full of them but there's little slits in it and that's going to allow drainage it allows you know the water will flow through the pipe but then also it won't set in the pipe it will drain out of the pipe into the ground some but most of that water is going to flow out to the other end um which we ended up putting another garden on that side so that'll be good it'll drain and you know water the garden a little bit so that's it's a win-win it turned out really well um just getting this done, once we got it, my dad did the part with the tractor, my husband went back in with a shovel, got it all cleaned, so it was really nice and pretty. But that was mainly because you want it to be nice and clean. Like right here it is, it's nice and cleaned out, right? Because we're gonna put a um, layer of gravel down. Now the gravel that we're putting down here and on the rest of this is number 57. It's a small gravel, it's the gravel that most people use in their driveway, at least around here we do. I don't know if that's like a normal thing across the board, but it's number 57. It's, you know, pea gravel, it's small gravel. So got that cleaned out and then we started with a thin layer of gravel that's gonna go under the pipe. We're gonna put the pipe in and then we have to put more gravel on top of the pipe. So much gravel. <sighs> this felt like it was a never ending process, but really within just a few days, we got all of this done, so it didn't take that long. It just was, it was just a lot of work, you know? <laughs> all 
All right, here comes the fun part of me operating the tractor. So just sit back and get a good laugh because it was interesting. <laughs> Tilt your, tilt your bucket a little bit more. Yeah, I didn't catch on that quick. <laughs> it was really, it wasn't, it was like the concept of it was super easy to understand, right? This lever does this and this lever does that, but getting your brain to do that, and it was a, it was a mess. It was fun. It was nice to try. I like, I'm always up for trying something, um, unless it's jumping out of the air or being slingshotted through the air in like a roller coaster type deal. Like, no, I'm out on that. But for the most part, I'll try things. I won't hold a snake, so don't ever ask me to do that. But um, I'm up for trying out a tractor, you know what I mean? Seeing if I can figure it out. I've ran a skid steer before. Again, I'm not the best person in the world at this stuff, but I'll do it. This is the corrugated pipe I was talking about. You can't really see the slits in it. I don't know, maybe you can see some of them. Um, but like I said, it has little slits in there. So it has like a two-way kind of drainage system. So we got this laid out on top of that gravel. And then you guys will see here shortly, like I said, we had to put more gravel on top of it. We started to do it by hand and then we realized we were being dumb. And that really wasn't a good idea when we had a tractor setting there. So then you guys will see me um, operating the tractor yet again. But I was operating the bucket part of it, which I can do. That little... I don't know, little bucket on the back of it that we used to dig the trench. That was a whole different situation. But operating the bucket on the front was much, much easier. Now I will say putting the first few scoops of gravel on this with the shovel was helpful for holding that pipe down because we didn't finish putting the gravel over it until the next day. Which like I said, we wised up and used the tractor that was there. So here's the tractor and we're going to start scooping up the gravel and then we'll dump it into the trench. And here... My husband brought me this rock that he found that's shaped like a heart. And I don't know, for first, it's super sweet, right? He found this, brought it to me, and I shoved him away because I'm almost positive he did something very inappropriate. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be surprised. Don't know what it was, but I guarantee it was something inappropriate. You don't know how much I need you Cause you're my home away from So we didn't take the gravel and just put it down everywhere. Now we went ahead and put it over the trench, over that pipe, because before we could level the gravel out everywhere, we put down some matting. Um, this is where we have the matting, and then we um, got it all laid out. This is just on the back side. We didn't put it under where the shed's going to be, but just on the back side where we're going to have the gravel and stuff. So we got the matting. We have these big giant, I don't know, matting staples. I know they're called staples, but I don't know the specific type. Of, I don't know. It's a huge freaking staple that's hard to get into the ground. The ground that we have that we live on is hard clay and rock. So anytime you're messing with it, it's just a pain in the butt. 
But we got that matting put down and then from there, we was able to take the rest of that smaller gravel and put it down everywhere. And we also put it over top of the bigger gravel. Like I said, the bigger gravel is really there for the shed to set on to like, it'll sink down a little bit and we won't lose all of the little gravel. The bigger gravel will sink, the little gravel will still kind of be there. Um, we leveled it out, you know, the best that we could, but really the leveling comes into play when the shed was delivered and it was put up on the block. That guy that delivered it, he leveled it all out and got it all fixed and was on point. So that's where the true leveling come into play. But here's a my little Andre son out here with his one big front tooth. Did I ever tell you guys that he fell at my mom and dad's and knocked out four teeth? One of which was his front permanent tooth. The poor thing. I hate it for him, but we will be buying partials until he's about 21 to 22 because that's when boys officially stop growing and then we'll put in a permanent tooth for him if he wants one or if he wants to continue having a partial that's fine but <laughs> poor kid doesn't have one front tooth like that all I want for Christmas is an, instead of his two front teeth we always now say is one front tooth aren't we awful people anyways um okay this is the, the final part before we let it set for about a week we got the rest of that gravel put down and then um you know, like I said, it sat there for about a week. We ran over it a bunch with the tractor, the skid steer, all the things. Got it all packed down in there really good. And then the shed showed up. And I already have a video showing you guys that. So you guys can see that. Like I said, I just wanted to go back and show you the groundwork that went into this. So you kind of get a gist of the entire process of having a shed delivered. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me watching this process stay tuned because I do have some new fun updates I'll tell you right now it is June the 21st I know I'm way behind on this so I apologize but we've got the shed here we've got it up it's like the walls are pretty much done we're getting the ceiling worked on the mini split like so many fun things coming so make sure you subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video